There is only one Earth, and it has a limited amount of natural resources. Riding my bike to work is one way to conserve those resources. I'm Greg Raffio, and I'm a sustainability design engineer. I work at Heapy Engineering, where we design buildings that will reduce usage of our natural resources, so they will last for future generations to use and enjoy. Sustainable buildings are a necessary part of a functioning society. Sustainable buildings reduce the use of energy, they reduce the use of water, they make their occupants live in a more healthy environment. Sustainable buildings are buildings that we can operate without excessive use of fossil fuels. Sustainable buildings enable us to make renewable energy more feasible. I would say that I became a green design engineer because I'm interested in engineering, I'm interested in the way the world works and interacts and how things operate. I'm interested in systems and I'm also interested in doing them right. Sustainability and green design just makes design sense. It's intelligent design. And I'm interested in making buildings operate more properly, making people that live and work in those buildings and play in those buildings be more healthy and feel better and understand that their building isn't wasting energy or hurting the environment. And I'm also interested in the general sustainability of the way that we do things and that's important to me and since I am an engineer and I'm interested in buildings I took that as my path and I became a sustainability design engineer and we work primarily with buildings. Our headquarters here at Heapy Engineering is a green building along with many of the buildings that we've worked on and I have worked on over the course of my time here. So with our building, we have a large atrium. The atrium combines our library, our lunchroom, our conference room, our reception area into one large room. And people would think, oh, that's a, you know, you have to put up walls. We used proper acoustic materials to enable us to use a lot less walls, steel, drywall, all sorts of materials that would have gone into the building and never had to go into the building. That's a green design. Our building has a green roof. The point of the green roof is to provide insulation from the harsh elements, to slow rainfall off the roof, to improve the lifetime of the roof. There's a lot of different things that a green roof does for a building that are positive. Almost all the spaces in the building, people can see outside and can see natural daylight, can have some daylight coming into their workspace. One of the features I find most interesting in our building that is a green feature of the building that you might not think right off the bat is our pop, water, coffee, hot chocolate dispensing machine. Now if you think about it, you have a hundred and some people in a building and if they drink a certain number amount of cans of pop a day, how much pop cans does that group of people go through in the course of a year? No styrofoam, which would be tons and tons of styrofoam, none of that it goes to the landfills and it never had to get made. One of the most important parts of sustainability of green is you know, the old saying, reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, you got to reduce first, and that's a reducing standpoint. Then you reuse things, like your mugs, you just reuse them over and over again, wash them out, and then when you're done with things, you recycle them. So our pop machine is a fun green feature that everyone benefits from. One building that we've worked on specifically has done a good job with their site management. The rain flow from that site, rain hits the building, has to go somewhere. Traditionally, we pipe it into the sewer system, goes to the river, and it creates erosion, it disrupts wildlife, etc. At that building, they have bioswales, which are basically large groups of plants, and soil, which reduce the flow of the water off the site from a volume standpoint. There's less water off the site at once, because some of it's being actually used on site, and it's being retained on the site, and it's something that I would suggest gets done on all buildings. What excites me about my job is the ability to come into work every day and go home, hopefully every day, and find and, and be able to think to myself, something I did today reduced our impact upon the environment. I got someone to change a, a urinal over from a one gallon per flush to a waterless urinal. I got someone to increase the efficiency of their HVAC system by 5%. These small numbers may just 
not make any sense to you, and these numbers may not seem like anything, but over the course of the lifetime of a building, which could be anywhere from 30 to over 100 years, that half a gallon per flush, or that 5% on an HVAC system, or that little bit less water that we put into the storm system, add up to be big numbers. And there's little things that are hard to see as impacts that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's really what excites me, is that I understand these little things, and these little things are important. And if I can affect the little things, they end up affecting the big things. The future of green design is the future of design. Design is going nowhere but green at this point in time. It's not a trend, it's not a fad. It's the only way we can continue to live at all. If we don't start designing green buildings, designing green products, and acting in a sustainable manner, we won't be able to have all the fancy things we have today. We won't be able to have the luxuries that we have today, such as the ability to not have to work really hard for our food, the ability to not have to be very uncomfortable in buildings. We have to use our resources intelligently and that's really all green design is about is creating buildings in an intelligent manner, buildings that operate properly, buildings that have some intelligence built into them like the photo sensors that change the light levels, like systems that open and close blinds and windows for you. And if energy were to be a certain percentage more expensive or less, less available, we wouldn't even be able to be operating the buildings to begin with. So the future of green design is the future of design.